Hey, how you guys doing? Welcome to the Lee Homestead. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to help your animals beat the heat this summer. So the first animals we're going to look at as far as uh, helping them beat the heat and stay cool this summer is the Cooney Cooney pigs. So pigs don't sweat. So the main thing that you got to watch for is to make sure they're in an area with plenty of shade, water, and access to a mud puddle. So I'm going to show you at least uh, what I've got set up so far. I'm working on expanding their living area with some pallets and I'll uh, show you a little bit th of that in a different video. But uh, I'll show you exactly my setup and it's helping them stay cool. And uh, heck, already this summer we've already had a couple days that have been over the 100s. So this method is effective and uh, hopefully you find some stuff that you can use on your homestead and uh, with your pool. Pig. They've already got in it this morning, as you can tell, it's a little dirty, but I dump this out and refresh it every day, sometimes twice a day, depending on how hot it is and how often they are. I make sure they have plenty of access to mud. This is one of the mud puddles they enjoy. Also, out into this part, I dug a couple different mud puddles right there that I can keep wet. So as you can see right over there, I'm extending my fence out with a hard fence instead of just the electric. Uh, Cause I think with these, I took the electric off of the bottom of the fence. Cause these pigs really don't test fences like uh, other types of pigs. So uh, the best way to keep them in honestly is just a hard fence. So pallets are the cheaper way to go and that'll be another video. So I keep 100 gallon stock tank there. I use that to help fill up those couple different uh, bowls of water. So the one thing with the black is you gotta make sure that you scrub it out every so often so algae doesn't build up. So I refresh their water at least every day, sometimes twice a day. And of course, with their living quarters, I set it up in such a way where they'll have plenty of shade throughout the day and they'll lay in there during the hottest parts of the day, either that or in the mud puddle. So now that I've showed you how we keep the pigs cool, I'm gonna show you uh, two different chicken coops and uh, the different setups. I learned um, after the first one to build it in a place that has plenty of shade, but I will show you what I've done to help remedy uh, picking a poor site the first time for a chicken coop. So this is the first chicken coop I built. Um, as you can tell, it's not as pretty as the other one. But one of the things that you got to make sure with chickens, so chickens can regulate their temperature fairly well, but uh, they need access to water. So I've got a, a three and a half gallon water that I fill up every day. Um, sometimes every other day, depending on how hot it's been, but lately it's been every day. And uh, they got to have access to plenty of clean water. I also went ahead and put a tarp because during the day the sun gets overhead and the only shade they have is under the coop so they're all pinned up under the coop. So to give them a little bit more room I threw a tarp on top of the run so they are able to stay cool. So the good news about adding that tarp is like this morning it's giving them a lot more shade to where they're able to scratch a lot longer and they have a larger part of the chicken coop to enjoy during the summer. So here is the second chicken coop I built. As you can tell, it's a newer one. And here are my white leghorns. Have you seen some of the other videos? They have grown up into juvenile birds and uh, they are fun to watch. So this site that I pick, as you can tell, there's a whole lot more shade. And there's a lot more shade during the greater parts of the day because of the big tree. So, uh, I made sure to cut down all the loose branches and you gotta watch that so you're not gonna have branches fall and destroy your run or your coop. But these birds are able to scratch a lot longer during the day because I picked a lot better sight. So these white leghorns, I'm getting some roosters here in next week actually. And uh, they're gonna take place of the red sex links. They're a lot hardier and uh, they don't eat as much. So I'm gonna move my laying hens over here so they have a better part of the shade and my meat birds are gonna be in the other coop. But the main thing again for chickens and really any animal is to make sure they have enough shade and water to stay cool. So one of the other ways that you can help your animal stay cool is treats that are filled with water. So chickens and pigs love fruit. 
and uh, fruit with a lot of water. So watermelon, cantaloupe, and those sorts of things. If you keep it in the fridge, even better, because it's already cold. So pigs absolutely love that stuff. Uh, they eat it and they enjoy it, in addition to, of course, their grain and what they graze on. And chickens, you can also take it and string it up on strings or just throw it in the run and they'll peck at it. And uh, if you give them a lot of things with water in it, you're gonna see a little bit more diarrhea, so don't freak out. Um, but it also helps keep them cool during the summertime. So thank you guys for watching. Um, before you get off here, go ahead and hit the subscribe button or the little square in the bottom right hand corner and I'll see you guys next time.